Gabriel here. I uh, hope you're having a great day. Uh, I want to begin with our word of the day. Today's word of the day is answer. And I have a big helper who's going to help me today, right, Amelia? Your big helper, are you going to help Papa? Yes, she said. She answered me. Uh, so how often have you answered God? Believe it or not, God might be calling out to you. Uh, there are times in my life where God called me to do things. He would do it through other people. Uh, there would be signs or events in my life. And I could sense that there was a strong call from God that he desired for me to answer. Uh, sometimes I was open to that call. Sometimes I was resistant. But the good news also is more often than not, we're the ones that call out to God. We're the ones that need an answer from God. And God answers us in time. Uh, sometimes he doesn't answer us verbally, but there's a peace and assurance that comes from praying and from connecting with God, particularly in difficult times. In Psalm 120, verse 1, it says, I cried out to God in my distress, and he answered me. Maybe take a stock in your own life and consider how God has answered your prayers. Maybe you might want to make a list and consider times where you had significant illness or a significant challenge how did god get you through how did he answer your prayers maybe how did he answer your prayers in ways that you didn't expect whatever it may be just know that god will answer you in his own time recent article on time magazine uh the biblical scholar nt wright wrote about how maybe there's not in the bible and the scripture about this current time about coronavirus and all that it might mean. Where does it come from? Who sent it? Uh, why is this happening? But what the Bible does provide, instead of answers that we always want, is peace and assurance. So as the Beatles said, uh, or as Paul McCartney wrote uh, in the song, Let It Be, there will be an answer. Let it be. Sometimes the answer doesn't the come answer. the way we want. The answer uh, but God does speak to us, and he answers us, and he responds to us in prayer and uh, through the Holy Spirit. So be blessed today, and I hope you will join us for one of our services on Sunday, either our 8.30 drive-in service or 11 o'clock live stream. We'll also uh, be on the prayer line at 9.45 uh, and uh, a.m. on Sundays. And on Wednesday, Word, Pastor Cheney will be leading that, and that's at 6 o'clock. And for our call-in, whether it be 6 o'clock or Wednesday in the afternoon or evening, or 9.45 on Sunday morning, you can call in 863-535-4643. Have a great day and be blessed.